Over the years, the World Poker Tour has had plenty of dramatic moments, huge final tables, and life-changing sums of money awarded to its winners. To celebrate this, let's take a look back at the top five final hands on the World Poker Tour. Number five features a fantastic call by James Carroll during the Bay 101 Shooting Star Final Table from Season 12. Facing Dylan Wilkerson, future WPT champion, James faced one of the most difficult scenarios in poker, an all-in bet from his opponent with $1.2 million top prize on the line. This time, action on Dylan. He's got ace high, ace five. Min raise makes it 500,000 to go. Man, the guy wins the pot with six threes. Why not play the six fours? Right, splash around, and good luck. Here we are. It's a four, nine four. Do so. James out flopping Dylan again. He checks. Well, Dylan's going to make the continuation bet. He does have the wheel draw, the gut shot straight draw. It's a half a million dollar bet. It looks like another check raise by James Carroll, and that's exactly what it is. Dylan's got to be saying to himself, you got to be kidding me. This guy can't hit every single flop. Every time I bet the flop, he raises me. Dylan is making this call, hoping to hit the three, but no, it's a deuce, pairs the board. Now action's on James. And he checks. On. Wow, he is pushing all in. He's going to try to bluff for all his money. And it actually could work. It's a hefty bet. And the tournament on the line. Usually players don't bluff off all their money, this kind of bet, when they don't have something pretty strong error out in front. This could be a really bad call. <laughs> well, James even laughing about it. Could be a really bad call here. It could be a great one that gets him the title, Vince. That would be incredible. Good call. What a call by James Carroll. These guys fight for every pot. He's got the best hand if he can dodge an ace three or a five. He'll be the champion. Dylan even sort of salutes him for making that call. Unfortunate river for you, though. Top 10 calls of the season, no doubt about it. He is one card away from becoming a WPT champion at Bay 101. Oh, He's hit a river card already once tonight. Can he do it again? No. Does it happen? James Carroll is our champion. And Vince, you got to say, the guy deserved this title. You, you said it all along. He played the best poker at the table. His luck finally paid off. He gets congratulated by his friends and his girlfriend, Brittany. When Mike Sexton says you deserve the win, I think you deserve it. James went on to win another WPT title and has over $5 million in career earnings. This is you. This is you playing poker on WPT Global. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up with bonus code YT10 and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. Number four features a heads-up battle between two veterans of the game and Anthony Zeno and Vanessa Selbst both with $11 million plus in career earnings. There was no doubt these two would provide a show, and they certainly did. 4.8 million. I'll show if you fold. <laughs> and look at this. She's going to make fold? him. Yeah, fold. He has folded the hand. She out-talked him at the table. Brilliantly done by Vanessa. Selbst and Zeno were all in multiple times for huge pots during this Borgata Poker Open final table. And with Vanessa on the ropes, Zeno took us to another huge flip. 250, 500, here we go down the stretch. And Vince, history's been made here tonight. It's the first time in the history of the tour that two lawyers have played heads up for the title. That's true. Anthony Zeno with an A6. And he's gonna apply the pressure, it looks like. 1.2. And he's going to make it 1.2 million. Very expensive for Vanessa. Let's take a look at her all hand. In. She's got K10. She's going all in. Wow, tough decision now for Anthony. All right. Call. Call. He's made the call. Right. He's made the call, and again, he's made the right decision, at least in terms of mathematically being the favorite. 
Anthony Zeno out in front. If he wins this pot, he's our champion. Okay, we are flopping. Here come the first three. It's a queen, nine, seven. Anthony out in front with the ace. <clears throat> so Vanessa has a straight draw now. She sure does. <clears throat> hey, Jack would give her the straight. Anthony so close to taking this title down. He's a guy that passed the bar in law school, but decided to play poker instead, and he's two cards away. One card away, I should say, as a five of hearts hits on the turn. We are down to the river card. Anthony Zeno, one card away from fulfilling the dream of becoming a WPT champion. And 825,000 with it, and the championship title at Brigada. Here we go with the last card. Can't, I can't look. I just can't look. All right, let's see. It's going to end now. We're going to continue. Let's go. Well, that even brings a smile on Vanessa's face. Well, there it is. The lawyer hug. Vanessa's going to have to wait to another tournament to become a WPT champ. But take your hat off to Anthony Zeno. Vince, he beat one of the best in the world to take this title. Oh, man, he played superb poker tonight. Anthony Zeno from Rhode Island is our champion at Regatta. Anthony Zeno beats a difficult opponent in Vanessa Selbst to win his first WPT title and 825K. And did I mention he would win two more WPT titles along the way? Speaking of winning WPT titles, there's nobody who touched the record for WPT titles of Darren Elias, and he comes in at our number three spot with this final hand against Kane Callis. The two battled intensely during the WPT Borgata Open during season 13. Callis was the chip leader for most of the tournament, but Elias had destiny on his side during this final hand. All right, on would we go. And now the Andes are 75,000. Blinds are 250, 500. Well, Kane is going to be willing to put a lot of money in this pot, that's for sure. Picks up an ace king. He'd be happy to get it all in pre flop, I can assure you. He is going to raise it. Looks like it's going to be 1.1 million. Darren with a king four, not too bad. And he's running good. He's got the chip lead. He's in position, but still not that great of a hand to call a raise with. Well, but he is going to do it. Playing the rush, Vince. Yep. Here we go with the flop. Kane has him dominated right now, but no more. Yeah, Darren hitting his four. So it's a 10 7 4 appears. Yep, Darren checks bottom pair. Nothing materializing for Kane. Kane okay, looking like he's going to reach for betting chips here. And a lot of betting chips. Well, sometimes your hand is so pretty you say, I got to keep betting this thing. I don't care if I have it or not. Well, 1.5 million to bet. Now there's 2.4 million in the pot. Most guys bet like a third size of the pot, a half size of the pot at most. He bet more than that. And I think it's the bet size. That's lured Darren into this pot. Boy, Darren's made a nice call here. He just figures if he really had something, he'd bet less to want me in the pot. Darren card is a king, and this could spell big trouble for Kane as he hits kings and two pair for Darren. Darren's going to check it. Yeah. Dream card for Darren. He gives his opponent top pair and top kicker, gives him two pair. Let's see what plays out here. Oh, Kane doesn't know what he fell into. He made the bluff continuation bet and then hits, and he must think he's in front. Well, he doesn't know if... His opponent has one pair, some kind of drawing hand. But he's going to bet top pair and top kicker, I can assure you of that. Oh, and boy, it's a big bet here. It looks like 3.2 million. And now Darren has his man on strings. A little puppet. I'm all in. I call. All in a snap call. Surprising snap call. Well, it was a snap call. Would a guy move all in if he couldn't beat one pair? Darren, way out in front with a two pair over Kane Callis. Yep, Kane is going to have to catch an ace, a 10 or a 7 to win this pot. Nothing else will do. A crowd on its feet. The winner's going to take home close to 850,000. So Darren Elias out in front, has the chip lead. If his hand holds up, he'll be the champion. The Pagata Championship on the line with one card to come. Kane needs some help. Can he get it? Let's see the river card. Here we go! It's a it's three, a three. there it is! Darren Elias has done it, Vince. He has come back to take this title. 
just a terrific battle, but the cards fell the way of Darren in the heads up battle. Amazing final we had. Darren is our champion. This was Darren's first of four WPT titles. He would win his second that November, just two months later. And he basically just never stopped winning since then. This is you. This is you playing poker on WPT Global. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up with bonus code YT10 and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. At number two, a stacked final table at the WPT Legends of Poker at the Bicycle Hotel and Casino from season 16. This table featured legendary J.C. Tran, local cash game pro Art Papazian, DJ Alexander, and, of course, Phil Helmuth. YouTube loves their Phil Helmuth highlights, and so we deliver. <laughs> wow! <House. laughs> Why did I bet that? I mean, if you have a seven, we're getting it in anyway. After a lot of back and forth play, it came down to Art, and the poker brat for the title and a $668,000 top prize. In the previous hand, Art flopped a straight and got a ton of action from Helmuth, who raised the flop and called off a river bet to the tune of 2.6 million chips. Not a believer, apparently he's gonna make this call. Oh no. Oh no, Vince, I can't watch. The next hand ended it all, and well, it speaks for itself. Sure, yeah. Now, Phil lost about half his stack in that hand, but likely even more of his mental fortitude. And this time he picks up a gigantic ace-king. He could use some revenge. Six. Moving it up to 600,000, and Art has king-queen. Phil is pretty short here. I think Art's going to go for it. King-queen's very strong heads up. All in. And he does so. And Phil with his Insta -call. trademark double fisted mash the chips in the middle call. Yeah, Palmyth in a nice place here. Finally out in front nicely with Ace King up against King Queen for a big double up possibility. Mark Papazzi in the local, his first ever WPT main event with an opportunity to win this. It's coming, boss. It's coming. One time? One time. 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 All right, our Papazian officially use using one his one time. I would like to use my one time. Wait, wait, you just took 5-4 against 2 five. I better use it one time. <laughs> oh. It wasn't used. All right. Phil clearly knows the rules. Okay, all right, you got your one time, fair enough. One time. Big drama. Let's flop. the gut shot to the jack. He can catch an ace, he can catch running hearts. This is by no means over. Five of hearts makes this very interesting. Any heart, any jack, any ace, and Phil is gonna win this pot, but if he doesn't catch it, it is over. The ball's in one card away from the championship. Are they chanting art or heart? I don't know. Here it is. Art fades the heart to win the title and defeat the ever talkative Phil Hobby to win his first WPT title. That's a pretty good use of your one time. Afterwards, Phil talked about hoping to have five to ten WPT titles someday. I need I need to start my WPT collection. There's no doubt in my mind I'll have five or ten by the time it's done. But to this day, he has yet to take down one. You know, it's uh unfortunate. Finally, at our number one spot, our friend Mike Sexton made the final table of WPT Montreal during season 15. And while Tony Dunst and Vince Van Patten try to stay neutral in their commentary, they couldn't help but root for their friend and fellow WPT family member. Mike survived multiple all-ins throughout the entire tournament to make it to this crowning moment against Benny Chen 
heads up. Mike's turned it around. And this time, Benny with a king jack. He's got about 14 blinds, so how's he want to play this? All in. That's how he's going to play it. Mike with the ladies? Yes, I call. Oh! <laughs> in the affirmative. Now, Vince, you don't see a lot of emotion at the poker table, but Mike there trying to fight a little back. I feel like I want to hold your hand. Five cards to come. Both these guys on the edge of their seat going to the flop. It's a queen on the flop! Great flop for Mike, but still four outs for Benny here. He can hit a 10 to make a straight and double up. But if he doesn't, Mike's gonna be our champion. Three of a kind on the flop. Thing of beauty. Here comes the turn, ace of clubs. Mm, no help to Benny. Still the same four outs. Ten and only a ten will continue this tournament. Otherwise, Mike Sexton, your newest WPT champion. Deuce of diamonds, it's over! He's got it! Vince, that is it. We have witnessed history tonight. We've been rooted on our colleague. Just an amazing effort. Benny Chen, what can you say? Bad luck. He'll come in second. Mike Sexton, WPT champion! History made for Mike Sexton in the heart of Quebec and not a dry eye in the building. We miss you, Mike. For the great Mike Sexton. Thanks, man. WPT Tournament Champion, I'm coming. That's going to do it for this top five of the best final hands on the World Poker Tour. Make sure to let us know what you thought in the comments down below and like and subscribe if you want more top five videos. I've been your host, Alec Rome. Thanks so much for watching and we... We'll see you next time.